Hello everybody, in this video I want to introduce you to Fotar, which is one of my favorite tools for photo editing, social media and marketing. To get started, click on the sign up button on top, I usually use my Google account and once you're logged in, you're going to be greeted with a bunch of different tools on the menu on the left. You can also find them in categories such as images, videos and presentations. For example, if you click image, you can see tools like AI Photo Editor, Face Swap, Collage Maker and Background Remover. For videos, we have things like video generators and video enhancers. The Fotar AI slides allow you to use AI to generate presentations for different needs. The first tool I'm going to show you is the AI video generator. Here you have a place to provide a prompt or upload an image based on which Fotar will generate a 4 second video. The number of credits you use is based on the quality you need. A high definition video will use up up to 20 credits. Here you also have this button called Inspire Me which will auto generate some prompts if you are stuck. Also there are multiple styles to choose from. For my first video, I'm going to use the Inspire Me button to auto generate some prompts and select one of them. So I'm going to click it a few times to see something I like. I like this one which says a royal wolf emerging from a magical big forest. After clicking the generate button and waiting two minutes, here's my video. It looks pretty good. I actually like my wolf to be running. So I'm going to change the prompt to a royal wolf running towards me from a magical big forest and regenerate. There we go. Now you see how changing my prompt just a little bit changes the video generation completely. That looks really good. Next, I'm going to try uploading an image. So I'm going to upload an image of something I found on Pexels. I have this guy wearing a red hoodie and a glow up mask. I'm going to describe my story as smiling and dancing. And also I'm going to go with a high definition video for 20 credits and click generate. There we go. Wow, that looks really good actually. I'm pretty happy with the result. Next is the AI image generator. Very similar to the video generator, you provide your prompt, select a style. I'm going to go with acrylic painting. Use the inspire me button to generate some prompts. Here I'm going to generate a bouquet of flowers in the acrylic style. Wow, that looks really good. Let me zoom in. Look how detailed the brush strokes are. I am pretty impressed with this result. Now unless you're working on a private project, I recommend posting every image that you generate to their community because that gets you extra credits. On the top you can see your creations in the my creation section and if you click community, you can see generations from other people in the Fotar community. Now if anything stands out to you, you can actually remix it to make it your own and I'll show you how that's done. So for example, I like this image on the left. If I go ahead and click on it and then click the remix button, the entire prompt of that image shows up. Here it looks like it's in Cyrillic so I don't even understand but I can still generate a nice version of that image. And since these new images are completely new, these are now yours and you can post them again. Now you can also use image to image where you don't have to use a text prompt. I'm going to use the same image of the guy in the red hoodie and go with fashion cartoon. I have two images and if I zoom in, you'll see that the image looks closer to a comic strip now. I'm going to go ahead and post this as well. If you're new to AI image generation, I recommend trying out some of these challenges that Fotor have. They're really good. Now along with an image generator, Fotar also provides an AI photo editor. Here you can upload an image and perform different actions on them. Here I have a picture of a car and I'm going to use BG remover to remove its background. It takes a few seconds and there we have it, our car is free from its background. You can also add different kinds of text. For example, if you are gifting this car to someone for Christmas, you can add Merry Christmas. Also there are several filters to choose from. Here I'm applying the American comic theme to this car and look how cool the result came out. Now these were just a couple of examples I wanted to show you but if you look on the menu on the left, there are several others you can play around with. Now along with the AI photo editor, Fotor has something called graphic designer 
which has its own set of functionalities. I use it for my YouTube thumbnails quite a bit. So here I'm going to search for YouTube thumbnails where I can start from an existing template and just change the text around. But if you want to get better with design, I recommend starting from scratch and use the elements that Fotar provides. You can also search for logos and choose from a wide range of pre-existing templates. You can do something simple like just change the words around. For example, here I'm changing yummy burger to juicy burger and changing the year to 2020 or I can do something advanced such as generate a background image with AI. Here I'm going to provide my prompt as juicy burger and click generate so I have an image of a beautiful burger in the background and maybe add something else like this 3D image of a hat on this logo. Now you don't have to do this, this is just for demonstration purposes, I'm not really a logo designer. Now Fotor provides a reward section where you can do different kinds of things to earn daily credits. Now this is on top of what you get with your subscription. I would like to thank Fotor for sponsoring this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one, thank you so much.